Hi there, I'm Brian Whitmore, director of the Russia program here at SEPA, and this is a vertical video. Well, I guess it all depends on what your definition of enemy is. At a press conference last week, French President Emmanuel Macron called for closer ties between Russia and NATO and said that the alliance should not consider Vladimir Putin's regime to be an enemy. According to Macron, NATO is an organization of collective defense. Against what? Against whom is it defending itself? Who is our common enemy? This question deserves clarification. So in the interest of clarification, I pulled together a few data points from just the past couple of months. This past weekend, for example, Russia deployed its new Tor M2DT surface-to-air missile at a military base just 10 kilometers from the border with Norway. Last week, the European Parliament passed a resolution condemning Russia's criminal investigation into Lithuanian judges who found Soviet military officials guilty of war crimes during a crackdown in Vilnius against independence demonstrators back in 1991. The Parliament also urged all EU members to ignore all international arrest warrants against the accused Lithuanian officials. And according to a report released last month by the Tallinn-based International Center for Defense and Security, Estonia has convicted a total of 20 Russian spies operating on its territory since 2009. Also last month, Spain's High Court opened an investigation into Russian interference in Catalonia's 2017 independence referendum. And back in October, the Czech Republic's counterintelligence service announced that a Russian espionage network that it had dismantled in 2018 was set up to carry out cyber attacks against NATO members. I could go on, but you probably get the point by now. The United Kingdom, Spain, the Netherlands, Italy, Germany, and France have each accused Russia of interfering or attempting to interfere in their elections. Moscow has supported and encouraged extremists and Eurosceptic organizations, parties, and politicians in practically all corners of Europe, including, by the way, Macron's opponent in the 2017 French presidential election. And just for clarification, Merriam-Webster's defines enemy as, quote, one that is antagonistic to another and, quote, one seeking to injure, overthrow, or confound an opponent. Keep telling us what you think on Twitter and on Facebook. I'm Brian Whitmore, and this was a Vertical Video.